Hello guys, welcome back to some more Borderlands and we will once again continue by doing uh, some extra missions. Like hidden journals, because they're always fun to do. Listen to the story of the... Uh, what was the name again? Tannis? This way, I think. Don't really do much more than this. And it is exactly where. Oh. Day five seventy-eight. I haven't slept in three days. I just ate six bugs in alphabetical order, starting with Carabus aranitans and ending with a dessert of Tetrix antelata. The information that I've uncovered from my automated deciphering has me closing in on the location of this event. An event I believe to be the opening of the vault. Echo Recorder and I are not together anymore. But I wish him the best, and we remain friends, so that I can keep recording these messages. He agreed, because we need to complete what we set out to do, and document the intensive search for the mythic vault. It's not a myth. Okay, so that is uh, something that's going on. You guys just, 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 uh, just take it easy and die, please. That flew over there. All right, here we go. Sometimes I wish I had never been given this assignment and never come to Pandora. Dahl has asked me to leave. The transmission said it's time to. Yeah. And it stopped? Uh, okay, I don't know what the heck just happened. So it says she's saying something though. The transmission said it's time to go, apparently, and something, something, something. But she wants to stay in research, I'm, I'm guessing. So I think that pretty much sums it up. I hope. Oh, what? No, you gotta be kidding me. Right here, right now. No! Don't, 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 don't. Come on. Come on. So, where's this at? Right here. Day 653. Today is my birthday. birthday? I've been alone oh. for an incalculable amount of time. A convict accidentally crossed over into my encampment this morning, and I allowed him to look about before I shot him in the back several times. I was immediately filled with regret upon doing this because the human contact, no matter how awkward, would have been nice. I've decided his name was Leslie, and he had a troubled childhood where people would make fun oh. of him for having a girl's name. And the torment eventually led Leslie to a life of crime and debauchery. There was a tattoo on his bum that looked not unlike the name Patricia. I might have imagined the tattoo. The experience compelled me to move the vault key fragment I found so that it can be safe. It's extremely important, so I've given it to the man known as Crazy Earl. He's not crazy. He doesn't like people. The vault key will be safe with him. I also gave him my underwear. Um. Why? Who the hell are you? I can ask you the same question. Day 684. I seem to be unable to leave camp anymore. I've collected all of the information I need to be able to find the vault, but I'm overcome with terror and instantaneous paralyzation upon any attempt to leave my confines. I believe I have some kind of psychosis. Whatever it is, I'm a prisoner of my own jail, and I will not be able to find anything without help from an outside party. I will put out feelers to see if I can get someone on this rock to grant me assistance. Perhaps I can send an off-world message to attract some vault hunters. Some oh. company would be lovely. Well, that's nice and all. Not creepy whatsoever. 
<clears throat> Day 718. Is there anyone I'm missing? Does she have more, like, journals after these? Damn. I don't really blame her for being crazy, but giving her underwear? I thought she needed her underwear since she's staying here for so long. It's just my thoughts. Alright, so the last one should be right about here. Day 718. I woke up outside the camp today. I don't know how I got outside, but I seem to have overcome my inability to leave. This will be my last recording before I scatter the echo recordings as far as I can. My echo recorder has clearly gone crazy, and if I'm not careful, I too might go insane. I will come back and resume my research when I have rid myself of this two-timing recorder. This is Patricia Tannis, signing out. And then it's done? Uh, I know you listen to them, so now I said you more trauma to my head. Okay. Nice. Who doesn't like trauma to the head? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get your ride. Get your ride. Should be too bad. I hope. Can't I just open this up somehow? I do not like that this one is not open. <laughs> so find things in this mess? <laughs> one, one down. <laughs> Two down. <laughs> Where's number three? Be one down here, so <laughs> maybe up there in one of these. No, Must be one. Okay, there's no way there's not. Like, come on, wait. No, it's just that. Okay, oh, I see one <laughs> all the way up here. Wait, whoop, sit up, sit up. <laughs> and got it. You got it. Good job. And next one. Is it up there? No, I don't see anything up there. I never know. Where could it be? Where could it be? <coughs> Outside? <coughs> right at the edge? So look for the body. The body would be pretty stupid, so I would I would say it would be um, be in a high place, like in the, the middle place, because it's a body, right? My logic is bad because it doesn't make sense with guns. Well, let me just do this. Maybe I can actually see it here. And it's not over there, nope. Wait, did I see it? I see it, okay, it's over there. <coughs> That's one way to do things. 
There we go. Retreat. Retreat for now, Roland. No reason to attack. Shotgun, huh? It is an explosive one. That is actually not too bad. Thirty-five, and that's corrosive. So explosive one is thirty-seven. Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay, I can, I can deal with this. I can deal a bunch of damage with that too. Let's roll! Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I need to go into the other area. Circle of slaughter, you know? Yard. Rust Cummins. Oh, hey, don't be shot out. Come on, get your ride. I got the ride. I got the ride. Come on, open up. Efficient? I love this day. You're the guy, right? Yes, yeah, so this was the circle of fall, right? Oh. On the air arena, come and talk to me anytime you want. Sure, all right, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Time to pass! Time to blow it off! Not so bad. But I'm talking to you, so I owe you. Now scram. Bah, you look like a candy ass brother. Wait, what? Candy ass brother? Back for more. 
Now, I would like to change my shield if it's anything better than what I currently have. 271. Do I have anything better than that? 48. Didn't know is bigger, worse, or better. You look at Wee Wee's super shield 37 and 34. So it's bigger, it's better, right? In, th in this case, bigger is better. Yes, I think. That flippin' hurt! Can't deal any damage to the people that I can. I don't know that does well. So they have launchers, huh? Well, I can date that game too. Where's my launcher? No, I have one. There we go. Put that in pencil of a pistol. Already again, alright? Now let's go! Spoke about it. There you go. I, I survived. You didn't. Very well speaking. Oh yeah, that was all me. How can you defeat C without shooting the stupid shots at you? Great gun, great fighting, great things, great greatness. Just great. <coughs> and uh, I'm gonna have to end this video here now, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. If you wanna see more from me, just for 8,000. Click that subscribe button, and hope to see you guys in my next video. Yes.